Hi there, I'm Sonia Aguilar, software engineer at the Alerting Squad at Agrafana, and I'm very happy to share the new central alert state history feature that we have built in our team. This feature will be enabled by default on cloud and configurable for on-prem users from 11.2. Last year, we revamped the alert state history system with a new storage system, Loki, and the same, at the same time with Data UI, where you can see all the transitions of the alerts for a particular alert rule. With the new central alert state history, users now can see all the alert state transitions over the time, providing a useful view of activities during specific timeframes. To access the central alert state history, you can click to the history menu item in the alerting section. At the top, you will see a history events chart. This chart provides an overview of alert activity in your system over a selected period of time. Each event corresponds to transition on an alert, and you can see the number of transitions grouped by 10 seconds, making it easy to see how much activity do we have. You can zoom by dragging on the chart or using this uh, time picker. If you exceed the 5,000 events limit, you might see a gap in the, in the chart. For example, selecting last two days, you will see a gap in the chart, and you will see this warning that is suggesting you to narrow the time to get the complete results. Below the chart, you will see a list of events. It represents a state change on, the, on an alert instance. And expanding a row provides detailed information about alert instance history. In here, you can see uh, the number of transi transitions for this uh, alert instance, uh, a state graph, the value in the transition. And you can also click on the alert rule name, and you will jump to the history tab on the alert rule view. Let's focus on the, on the filters. You can use uh, this filter by, uh, you, put, you can filter by labels, labels in the alert instance. The, you can use directly uh, this input following these rules, or you can, you can click directly to the label. This will add the filter here. Same with the state change. You can use this filter to filter from normal to finding, for example, or you can click directly here. This is the end state to normal, for example. We find these filters very powerful because you can uh, filter, for example, Imagine that we have an incident last hour and we want to filter all the alerts that start firing. So you click on the firing and you will see all the alerts that start firing at this particular time period. And that's all. Note that this feature is available to all users as long as the Grafana instance is using the log implementation for the alert state history. We use also the new RBAC permission to ensure users that can only see alert transitions for, al for alerts that they have access to. Thank you very much.